In our session, we'll be discussing about dimensioning and different type of dimensions available in AutoCAD 2012 and other peripheral dimensioning and tolerance options for preparing, manufacturing or production drawing. If you see the dimension tab, here you can find linear, aligned, radial, jogged, ordinate, etc. And other than this also, you have various other type of dimensions like continue, baseline, etc. So we'll be discussing today in our session the complete linear type, angular type, arc, radius and diameter, jogged and ordinate. So we'll start with linear. The linear dimension can be defined as a horizontal or vertical which you can apply to your object. Let us say if I need to measure this point to this point length that can be done through the linear. Likewise, you can apply this to various other object, maybe this object. So, if you want to use this repeatedly, you go for right click and go for add to selected. Then directly you can apply this repeatedly. If you want to again reuse this, right click add to selected and you can add this. Just like that, you can also use the aligned, which is not horizontal or vertical, which is in angular note. That directly can be done for defining this kind of dimension where you can measure what is the length in the aligned direction. Also, you can apply the angular dimension to measure the angularity. Maybe this corner when I'm applying this, this is 90. And again, when I'm using my before used dimension category, maybe this linear, right click add to object, you can directly use this for dimensioning your part. Now I'm using this angle repeatedly. I can go to add selected and I can use the angular dimension. Any dimensions may be aligned. I need to use it. Right click, add selected. So this can be done and you can apply this over your object. So no need to worry which type of dimensions you want to use. If already you have used a type that can be reused by selecting and right click add to selection. In this way, you can apply your arc length also. If you want to know the length of this arc segment, then you can select this and you can use this to understand the arc length. And likewise, you can measure the radius and diameter also. If you go to radius, directly you can select the object and you can position the radial dimension. Just like that, you can go for the diameter as well. You can position the diameter and repeatedly if you want to use the radius or diameter right click, you can go to add to selection and you can apply over the object. If you want to use the diameter also, you can use that in the same way like this. So this is the very quick handy technique which you can use to reuse your existing dimension style type over the drawing repeatedly. Just like that. I'll be showing you the jogged case where you have the restriction and you can move inside and you can show your dimension that may be radial or any other type. So you can directly select the edge and you can define your positioning point. Then from that you can navigate to the locations. Maybe my location is this. Then where you need to position this, that jog style you can directly control. This jog style is positioned here. In later, you can apply changes over this by moving this point also. You can move anywhere. So jog style are to dimension or positions the area where you have restrictions so that you can move and clearly you can define like this in a zigzag fashion. And dimensioning advanced options will be looking in our advanced lecture session also. 
we'll see the ordinate dimension in, in case of ordinate you can refer your 0 0 let us say this for the vertical one maybe this and I can position the various circular locations with respect to this let us say for this point how far will be it in, in the x direction how far it will be in the x direction how far it will be in the x direction that you can look it how far it will be in the y direction that you can look it from absolute 0 0 so this is basically the ordinate dimensioning which you can apply to understand the position of the whole with respect to the global 0 0 and you can use this for manufacturing purpose